Aloha, welcome, welcome to my live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher. I am honored to be live with you here today. Today is the 1st of July and it is uh, a Friday. It is a day in which I will be connecting, teaching and offering blessings around the water element and the condition of fear. How the water element and the condition of fear impacts our lives. Sometimes it's beneficial, most of the time it's debilitating. And so we're going to be talking today about this most important subject. So I encourage all those that are watching live and all those that will watch this video for the full time to take in all of the wisdom, the guidance, the insights, the blessings that will be offered here today. I will also offer soul readings to some of those around their condition of fear today to see if we can get any additional insights. So I'm so grateful for this opportunity to have this wisdom and to be able to serve in this way. So I thank all of those who have joined. Thank you, Sandra. Great to see you. Thank you, Vanessa. Miss you. So happy that you've joined us here today. I know how busy your life is. I get to see some of your Facebook posts. Welcome, Gabrielle. Wonderful to have you join us as well. This is a very popular subject and one of the reasons why is because we can't seem to move forward in our life when we have this kind of a blockage area. Um, and it comes from a variety of sources, some of which is karmic, some of which is our own innate self-worth values and fears. But we're going to be asking today for guidance from the soul world as to how to help us resolve some of these blockages as they show up. So while we're waiting for everyone to join, I'm going to go ahead and ask the soul world to join us, connect heart to heart and soul to soul. <clears throat> so please, you're welcome to join me. There are all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source. They're my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. I love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I thank you for your presence today, your guidance, your wisdom, your insights. I ask you to please come to sit in my heart center to borrow my mouth that I speak the words, the truths, and the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to earth. <clears throat> we ask the soul of the emotion of fear, the soul of the emotion, uh, excuse me, of the water element and the associations of fear and the water element. We ask the soul of all the guidance, wisdom, and insights associated with this to please be present so that when I connect, offer the blessings, offer the wisdom, do any soul readings for this, that whatever is shared provides for those that are attending the highest wisdom, the highest guidance they can receive to transform this emotional blockage in their life. Very, very grateful. <clears throat> You're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony that has been transmitted to all souls. I love you, honor you, respect you, and I thank you. I bow down to you. I ask that you please turn on in all souls in all universes, and we invite all the souls in all universes to chant with us. We ask you to turn on in all these souls that are watching right now live and all those that come to watch this video later on so that they too can connect heart to heart, soul to soul to help us transform our blockages. So let us chant love, peace, harmony together to, ch to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, ah, I wash in her ling. Oh, ah, I trust red lay. Wong ling rung. Her mushu shang, shang ai ping on a shang, shang ai ping on her shang. 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, welcome, welcome Esther, welcome Anne-Marie, welcome Petra Marie, welcome Johnny, welcome Rianne, and welcome Margaret. Welcome Lily. Thank you all so very much for joining and for your beautiful comments. Today I will open it up to do a few soul readings, not right away, but you can go ahead and post your questions. I'm going to offer a little teaching and wisdom on the nature of fear and the water element. I am then going to do a flow and we'll find out which souls come around this subject matter and what information they wish to offer. Then I will open it up to some soul readings. We'll do some healing and blessing. Okay? Sound exciting? Uh, Facebook has the, uh, the um, unique nature of cutting off. Please, if that happens, then stay. Just if it cuts off, um, you'll know in about a minute or so and just refresh your page. My new video will come up. I'll be coming back on in probably a minute or so after it cuts off. Uh, unfortunately, I have no choice in the matter, so please remember to come back and find the new version, which will start about a minute or two later. All right? Hopefully it won't happen, but if it does, that's how you stay connected. Welcome, Hilal. Great to see you. Okay. So let me offer some teaching from Master Shah from the Tao Song Tao Dance book. One of my favorites, uh, truly uh, just loaded with the highest wisdom and teachings and blessings. So Dr. Master Shah teaches that the water element is one of five major elements. The water element, make sure I have the right page so I give you exactly how he, he states it in here. The water element has the associated yin organ of the kidneys. So if you have kidney related issues, it's, it's also related to water elements and everything else I'm going to be mentioning. One can beget the other. For example, anger could create alcoholism, alcoholism could create anger, and they're both associated with the liver. The water element, on the other hand, has the association of the kidneys. Its paired organ is the urinary bladder. So, so a lot of women, for example, have urinary bladder um, issues. And that means they have some water element imbalances, probably some excess fear as a possibility. It is also associated with the bones and the joints. What does that mean? That means if your kidneys are not strong, if you're not doing certain practices to empower your kidneys, then it could also take away from some of your bone and joint strength. Um, it has the fl fluid is the urine, and the sense organ, each one of the five elements has a sense organ, is the sense of hearing. And so for those that have weaker hearing, by empowering, boosting power to your kidneys, then you'll reduce your fear, improve your hearing, and potentially increase the strength to your urinary, urinary bladder as well. The emotion, as we know, is fear, and that is called the unbalanced emotion. The balanced emotion is calmness. Pretty common sense, right? Calmness. That's the balanced emotion. The opposite uh, element of water is fire. And it is said by Master Shah that when fire and water are in balance, that you have excellent health. One of the imbalances that shows up from a lack of fire and water balance is sleep and sleep issues. Uh, also, obviously, if you have anxiety, that's not enough, uh, too much fire, not enough water. So the water element has a, a lot of associations to the overall health of the entire body, including its balancing of the opposite nature of the heart and the fire element. So when we bring our water element into balance, it can help us in many, many areas of life. So I wish to uh, offer my gratitude and welcome to Crystal, to Amy, to Tatiana, and to Stephanie. So uh, please ask your question around fear. I will uh, do as many as I can, many flows around your question of fear as I can. I will do a flow 
specific to you. I will now do a flow and I will ask <coughs> uh, the souls related to the emotion of fear and the water element to offer any additional guidance and insights before I offer your personal ones. Did the soul of the emotion of fear, the emotion of the water element, the element of water, and its associations to the entirety of the human vehicle, any guidance, wisdom, and insights that can assist all those that are listening today on this video to help them to transform this blockage. I love you, Ani, respect you. I ask that you borrow my mouth and educate us all in wisdom and insights that might not have been revealed as of yet. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. I am the water element. I am in every aspect of life. I am part of the hydrocarbon. Without me, there are no oceans. There literally is no air to breathe. There is no opportunity for life in all universes to exist. You exist because I exist. The water element and its balance is of great importance to your urinary bladder and kidney system. Your water in your body starts at approximately 90%. Your water came from the womb of your mother. She delivered to you all of your nutrients through the element of water. When you are born and progress through life, the water element assists you greatly. The very first organ that is created in the embryo is the kidneys. They are the deliverer of the water to create the formation of the rest of your physical vehicle. So when I say to you that I am the most important aspect of your development and maintenance of your health and well-being, I am not limiting the statement. To take time to bring me into balance in your body is one of the smartest aspects of your health that you can do. There is an association of fear that comes with the water element. This association has to do with a lack of me in the entirety of the circle of the five elements. Think about it. Anxiety is what? A form of fear. Worry is what? A form of fear. Anger is what? Fear that is unexpressed. I serve you through all of the elements and my making you aware. When you balance me, the other elements can balance. Therefore, worry diminishes, anger diminishes, anxiety diminishes, fear diminishes. The element of fear has many sources including karma, imbalances of the other elements, and teachings about your worthlessness and separation from the divine. Today, through additional soul readings, you will hear different insights for each person. Pay attention to the answer for each person as there will be wisdom for you in each answer. Do what you can to balance your water element as much as possible and many of your physical, emotional and mental maladies will naturally balance out. The mental restrictions and maladies have a relationship to the brain, the brain power and the brain's ability to carry synapses from one side of the hemisphere to the other. In boosting my power 
through the practices, your brain will increase in its ability to sustain the moisture content necessary to create the greatest fluidity of synapses, the ability to remove toxic debris, and the ability to receive the messages and information from the heavenly realms. There is far more that can be shared at this time on the value, purpose, and the significance of the water element, but this is enough for now. I am honored to speak this wisdom to you that you might receive value and blessings accordingly. This is the soul of the water element. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, such profound wisdom. I'm so grateful for uh, the universal servants that are recording this for me and typing it out. Thank you, Kristen Rojas, for that service. So welcome, Cristo Valencia. Welcome, Jota. Welcome Tina Power. And so let me go ahead and back up a little bit here to <clears throat> the first request for soul readings. Tatiana asked, I would like to transform worry, fear, and anger as appropriate. Thank you. Okay. And so we will work on that with the blessings. Stephanie asked, creating master, uh, greetings, Master Paul. Very happy to join you today. Can you offer some guidance for the fear she has when, it, when others approach her, the fear of attention to me in general? Thank you. Okay, brilliant. So did the soul of Stephanie Cannon, Stephanie's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of this question, the soul of the original source of this for Stephanie, and whatever uh, is necessary and valuable for her to hear around this, as well as um, what blessings or insights, tools, uh, healing, um, hmm, instruments that are currently free and available to her that can best serve her on, in this aspect of her life. <clears throat> Could you all please be present and offer Stephanie this guidance? Thank you, thank you, thank you. My beloved Stephanie, this is Master Jesus speaking through Master Paul. I love you with all my heart. You, my beloved daughter, have fear because you supported me in my time on earth and you lost your life in that support. You stood up for the love, the teachings, and the message that I brought. And it is this lifetime that you hold on to in the form of a negative memory. You worry what others might think about what you say and you recoil physically as others approach you. I have come to you to teach you this and to tell you that I am with you always to hold me in your heart that each time someone turns to you to talk to you instantly see me inside your heart smile to them my smile my love and let that purify your fear when you consistently do this it will no longer be you that is talking it will be my message the divine's message through you to them and they will hold no judgment to you because of my love through you 
I am so grateful that you ask this question. I am deeply indebted to you for your service to me on the earth when I lived in this day. And I thank you for your continued purification that you can be all that you wish to be. How? Thank you, Master Jesus. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, Yvonne says, I had a fear of success for many years. The other soul of Yvonne, Yvonne's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. Could you please offer Yvonne the guidance around this fear of success? As well as for anybody this is the soul of the fear of success I am very proud of my service I have the opportunity to test many, many souls on their ability to fulfill their agenda, what they want to do. I have the opportunity to whisper in their ear, you cannot do this. You don't deserve to do that. I am proud of my service. Why am I proud? Because it is asked of me by God to serve you in this way. You do not understand that the opposite of the fear of success is hope for gain. Hope for gain is what you wish and should put your attention on. When the fear of success comes up, change it. Realize that the hope for gain has a far more positive perspective. Align your thoughts to the love, to the attributes that you have. Say to yourself, I have whatever it takes to create the success that is highest and best for me. I do not gauge or judge myself. I do not, um, I do not uh, measure myself against anybody else. What I do for myself is enough, and today I choose to do this little bit to move closer to my success. If humanity took the time in the face of the fear of success to stop and say, this is not my truth, I have what it takes to be successful to my level, and I will do something every day to move closer to that and release this unnecessary fear. Then you would actually reach your goal. What mostly keeps people from achieving their success is their attachment to what other people think and their uh, belief that they have to measure up to other people who have already achieved a certain level of success. It is these two things that both uh, contrive together to keep all of humanity from being individualistic and perfect in their own measurement. So focus on being happy with your own measurement. Do nothing to make others happy. Do it for yourself and realize that you have everything you need to achieve whatever you push yourself to do. This is the soul of the fear of success. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Tatiana, is the fear stuck in my kidneys or bladder?
Um, in a lot of places, more than that. I heard bladder more than kidney. I heard water element as a whole and metal element as a whole. Um, so there's some potentially some sadness and grief in there as well uh, because of the metal element. But it's not necessarily stuck in a specific part of the body for any, any human. Uh, it tends to be related to karma and mindsets, beliefs, attitudes, etc. that tend to stick in certain um, Shen Qi and Jing throughout our body, Tatiana. Okay, so Vanessa says, Master Paul, I feel all my blockages in life regarding business or progressing career wise have been because of fear. Is this the case? To the soul of Vanessa, Vanessa's request, question, and the source of her blockages. Do you please reveal yourself? Offer Vanessa whatever guidance and insights is pertinent to her. Thank you. You know, it's, it's really odd, Vanessa. What I'm seeing is something I, I'm unable to put words to. It's something that's from the past. It's something that's ancestral related mostly. But there's also the one message I did get was that there was a lifetime in which you had exorbitant amounts of financial blessings. And you had a great desire to serve others with it. And it was basically taken from you, almost like it was... Um, uh, what's the word when, when um, embezzled? Yeah, it was like it was embezzled. And this deflated you so much because the entirety of your life was spent building this and you wanted to serve so many and it was literally just taken away. And what I'm getting is that this deflation is the source of the fear. Um, that it's almost like you don't want to have to go through that suffering again because it was two parts of suffering. One was your loss. The other was the loss of everybody else that you were going to help and the guilt from not being able to follow through on your intentions, commitments, and promises. Um, because there was some, more is coming now, there was some um, mistalking and wrong information that was spread about uh, the embezzlement aspect of it. There was actually people that were saying, well, you know, you just were, were, were holding on to it um, and lying. Um, and so uh, it's, it's a negative memory, really, is the source of yours, uh, Vanessa. So maybe um, check in with Master Peter, somebody like that, to see what you can do about removing the negative memory. How? <coughs> okay. Uh, Esther says, I have fear and insecurities regarding business and finances. What I'm hearing for you, Esther, is it's, it's very specific to um, uh, book knowledge and intelligence that you actually have quite a bit more control over than you think that all you really need to do is educate yourself purposefully maybe take you know an accounting class a class on uh, business management a class on um, marketing etc and don't have any particular um, uh, speed about it make it more of an enjoyable process um, and it is the education that will bring you the confidence that will quell the fears. It's not really something from the past as much as it is um, potentially a language barrier and the education barrier. So have fun with it. Uh, enroll yourself in community um, uh, evening workshop or something like that. Do a little bit at a time and, uh, and that way you'll be able to, uh, to prosper quite a bit more. That's what I'm getting for you. Petra says, sometimes I have fear about the sudden appearing noises. This has come from memories. I 
I'm shown four lifetimes, Petra. Uh, one of them is a lifetime when you were in a prison cell. And um, it was dungeon days, you know, back in like it was, it was a dungeon prison. And that um, when the doors opened and closed, that metal clank, it was quite shocking because after that always followed a lashing that was part of the prison days was there was a, literally the, the, the whip and the lashing. And so it's this, this jolt that came with it. That was one. Another lifetime I was shown is, is um, in wartime when, with bullets and, um, uh, and it was very fearful. Uh, you didn't actually die from a bullet in that lifetime, but you witnessed those around you uh, dying. And you basically just kept your head down and hid as much as you could so, so you didn't die. Um, Everybody else had big ego, you know, they run forward into the bullets. You're like, uh, no, thank you. So you live to talk about those times, but you, that was another lifetime. And then um, I'm, I'm being shown another lifetime when you were an animal uh, and um, you were hunted. And so it was fear, again, uh, fear of, of, of being hunted. So do forgiveness around those. Um, Release the blockages. Um, forgive yourself for holding on to them, and and recognize that 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 the divine is your your source, and that all things happen for a reason. That you are not the same soul that went through those experiences now, and there's no reason to have any more concern. In the moments when those pop up, um, let's see what they say. Well, the message is, um, instead of a, of a knee-jerk response, hit it with a question mark. I wonder what that is. And it's the questioning of it that brings you into the moment that allows you to dissolve it with intelligence instead of a knee-jerk reaction from fear from the past. So that's what they're telling me to help you with that. Okay. So Sandra says, I'd like some guidance for the fear I experience from my seniors at work as appropriate okay to the soul of Sandra to the soul Sandra think of your job think of those seniors you're referring to specifically and maybe think of an example or two of when you find yourself in fear and then I'll, I'll check in with that to the soul of Sandra the soul of the experiences she is thinking about now um, the soul of the conditions around this the highest and best guidance for Sandra regarding this uh, and whatever guidance is most pertinent for her Hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya yo. Hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya hey yo. So Sandra, the fear is actually related to the. There is, there is with some of these souls, there is. I, I have to say this gently, but there's basically some some high level darkness on on them, if you will. That's just part of their soul journey. And you carry light. And that darkness doesn't like the light so much. And it's almost like a shadow figure, like a shadow going Ooh, like this down towards you. Um, and so you kind of recoil a bit on an energetic level. So what you want to do is you want to use love, peace, and harmony. and uh, do it like this before you go to work do the soul of, of those people at my job that I have fear around do the soul their souls not the physical person do their souls please come I love you honor you appreciate you please forgive me if I have caused you fear in any lifetime please chant love peace and harmony with me and help us to resolve these fear issues now by chanting it, you're allowing the power of the song to dissolve the blockages. And then when you complete, uh, chant for five or 10 minutes, then when you complete, ask those souls to please return. Duplicate this and you should notice a significant difference within a month or so. Um, that should help you quite a bit. How? Okay. Rian says, I would like a reading for the fear that I currently have in my life. Okay, so, um, for all those that request soul readings, uh, specificity helps a lot. Maybe it's fear in every part of your life. I don't know, Rian. We'll do our best to answer it. 
but specificity offers a more specific answer. So the answer might be somewhat general, uh, and if it is, that's because of the generalness of the question. Okay, so let's check. <laughs> This is one of Rian's Heaven's team. We are grateful for this opportunity to communicate to our beloved Rian. There are multiple reasons that lead to her fear in general. One of those is that from early on, she has never truly honored herself, trusted herself, validated her own well-being, her own intelligence, her own beauty, her own opinion. She never truly gave any merit, credit, or value to herself. This stems from lifetimes of being subordinate in nature. There were lifetimes of slavery. There were lifetimes of being subordinate to the uh, religious teachings of the day. The comfortableness from which she learned to survive in those lifetimes, because truly it was survival. You either were subordinate or you died. You were either subordinate or you were called a witch. You were either subordinate or you were uh, uh, thrown rocks at. And she became comfortable in the subordinate structure. She came into this life with the opportunities on every corner to stand up and speak her mind, to stand up and speak out. I understand this knowledge. I am educated in it. This is what I know to be true. There are opportunities to speak her mind in a relationship when she says, that is not right the way you are treating me. But instead, our beloved one has...